Hey guys, welcome back. Now, speaking from firsthand experience, I wasn't always in a place where I felt attractive or good about myself. And honestly, that still fluctuates slightly from time to time, but if you wanna know exactly how to become way more attractive, both aesthetically and personably, then this video's for you. Well guys, I'm glad you're here, and if you are new here, my name is Weston John Boucher. I'm a model, menswear designer, YouTuber, and Amazon Live A-list creator. Now, if you could, it'd be awesome if you'd like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment below, share this video. Those are the things that really help the algorithm so that I can have more channel growth and overall just have my channel become more and more successful, which will give me more time to invest in videos for you guys. Now, you'll notice that I don't usually do sponsored videos from other companies, so the best way to support me and my channel is to check out my menswear line, Weston Jean Boucher. After 10 years of modeling in the industry and wearing basically every brand under the sun, I just still couldn't find a cohesive collection from one brand. My goal has been to take classic styles and give them modern fits with more premium materials, more comfort, better fits, and bridge the gap between sophisticated designer brands and what I would like to call affordable luxury. So please use your exclusive code YouTube15 as a sign of good faith as I think you'll love the clothes I've designed. Also, be sure to check out all the exact grooming, hairstyling, skincare products, and more that I use on my four plus year curated Amazon shop, as well as the four live broadcasts I do a month. Now, some of my biggest tips to becoming more attractive may sound familiar, but I challenge you to be brutally honest with yourself as we go along as to whether or not you're either currently doing them, working on it, or you absolutely plan to. Because I have no sympathy for people who are capable of positive change but lack the discipline to actually want it enough to take action steps towards self-improvement. Whining, being lazy, and having self-pity never got me anywhere. I was simply tired of the more the same and wanted to better myself and make the most of this gift that is life. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. Be genuine. In a time when people often project something that they're not, do the opposite and be more unashamedly yourself. More than ever, people are starving for authenticity, so don't think that trying to impress someone or cater to what you think they'd want to hear is going to lead anywhere but to an eventual rejection once you can't keep the act up any longer. Being authentic is attractive to others who may be wired the same way or find that your uniqueness is what actually draws them to you. Brighten that smile. <laughs> Sketchy yellow teeth and bad breath are one of the biggest universal turnoffs out there. <laughs> There's no excuse in this day and age to have stained yellow teeth with the amount of affordable at-home teeth whitening over the counter. Furthermore, if you aren't getting your teeth cleaned and looked at the dentist, you know, every six months, you're much more likely to have chronic bad breath and all sorts of awful things coming your way as you age. You're either more scared of the dentist or more scared of dying alone. You're gonna have to pick the lesser of two evils there. Besides, the dentist will always be able to recommend work that can be done to help straighten, repair, or even put an entire set of veneers and completely upgrade your smile. Speaking of mouths, next up, talk less, listen more. It's very unattractive when someone goes on and on about how great they are, or they just never shut up or interrupts the other person constantly so they can make their point. When you listen intently, it gives you many more opportunities to ask great questions and engage in really stimulating a meaningful conversation. The person on the other end will sense the connection occurring and be attracted to your genuine interest in them while also feeling acknowledged, respected, and relaxed. Furthermore, your mouth can, really can hurt you in the attraction department, so also make sure you avoid being arrogant or outspoken about hot button issues like politics, social issues, or religion. Instead, try to be more respectful, calm, intelligent, and comfortable about your own beliefs while not acting threatened by opinions from the person on the other end. It's very off-putting when someone disrespects you, so always keep your cool, and if you overact or they overreact, then that's on them or you, but you'll have gained their respect regardless of agreeing on everything, and they'll likely apologize eventually. Groom better. Looking clean and put together will always help tip the attraction scale further in your favor. So there's nothing like a fresh and flattering haircut every two weeks, 
along with tidying up your facial hair at least every couple days. I know big beards are in and I do think they look cool, but it doesn't mean you can't rein it in a bit and have a barber show you some tips to keep it nice and manicured versus scraggly, overgrown and unkept. It's always attractive to have a clean neckline, so be thorough when you shave and trim each time. By the way, I have an entire playlist on grooming and hair care, so be sure to check that out as well. As also, I have all the exact grooming and razor products I use in my Amazon shop. Get tan and improve your skin. Looking pasty these days? <laughs> There's nothing like a nice, natural, healthy looking tan. Now, if your complexion is super, super fair, based on your ethnicity, I'm not saying you should attempt to get bronzed up like Brad Pitt from the movie Troy, as you can absolutely rock fair skin with confidence if you don't tan easily. But if you do tend to take sun well, 20 minutes each day will go a long way. In addition, I tried a plethora of natural self tanners over the time, over time, sorry, and found a couple absolutely amazing ones that you can easily find in my Amazon shop under men's skincare. Now, as for the quality of your skin, having bad skin and an overly dry or oily face is not exactly the most welcoming situations. Start taking care of your skin by cleansing, moisturizing, protecting, and renewing your skin properly with a quality regimen. Stop using cheap products with random chemicals that will only irritate and toxify your skin. Try some of the products I recommend on my skincare section of my Amazon shop to combat oily skin and every other facet of proper skincare, as oftentimes eliminating bad products with good ones will resolve skin conditions as well. Clean up your diet and work out regularly. No surprise the diet and exercise would make an appearance in this video. However, as the sayings go, you can't out-train a bad diet and abs are made in the kitchen, so make sure that you get your eating habits in check if you want to look more attractive. Start incrementally eliminating, well, at least start by trying to do it Monday through Friday to limit your intake of processed foods, stuff with lots of sugar added, beer and cheese, and replace it with whole foods, high protein meals, nutritious fruits and veggies, and a half gallon to one gallon of water per day. For exercise, if you need motivation and accountability, join a gym like F45, Orange Theory, a boxing club, or get involved in a sport you love in a nearby club, or look up a meetup group the online that's in the activity that interests you and keeps you active each week. If you're more of a lone wolf kind of person like me, download one of the many workout and weight training apps on your phone and join a local gym. Hire a personal trainer, just make it happen and adopt a new lifestyle to become the best version of yourself yet. But I always say this, take baby steps, don't go cold turkey entirely or you may find yourself resenting this new pursuit and burnout. Ease into it and slowly start incorporating new healthier habits each and every week. Your body, mind, and overall sense of energy and attitude will become more and more attractive. Trust me. Have more direction and purpose. What do I mean by that? Well, if you don't really know where your life's going, like if someone asks you, so uh, where do you see yourself in the next five years or 10 years? Do you like your job, this and that? In those types of conversations, if you really just lack purpose and don't really have a vision for your life, it's not gonna be the most attractive thing to the other person on the other end. Most people want to be around someone who has a sense of where they're going and what drives them. So take some time to really analyze your life and think about a lot of this stuff that, and aspirations you know, that you have and start to have kind of an action plan or again, baby steps if you aren't happy with the job you're in or what's going on in your life but at least have something in place because someone who's lost and just really doesn't know where they're going isn't gonna be the most attractive to the other person on the other end. They want someone who's stable and has a good sense of what they're all about and where they're headed and how they can use how they're uniquely created for their purpose moving forward. Put more effort into your style. Okay, if you're a guy, you likely hate shopping just as much as the next guy, but you know when you see a well-styled dude that you think, man, I really wish I dressed better. <laughs> Being presentable is attractive. Don't believe anyone who tells you otherwise. There's a reason you don't show up to a job interview or a wedding all disheveled and underdressed. Wearing the right clothing can really flatter your body more and exude more confidence to those around you. If you're not sure where to start, Go with blacks, dark grays, whites, and if you do color, make sure it looks good with your eye color and complexion. Choose pieces that are fitted and actually your size. Try to be minimal versus overly trendy or obnoxious. You wanna wear things that are simple and don't draw attention away from who you are, but instead focus on it. I know it's a shameless plug, but I literally design every piece of my clothing line 
for me first because I want all those same things from what I wear. So if you're not sure what to get first, try black denim jeans and a nice lightweight sweater or a tee with a couple accessories and pair of white or black sneakers, you know, simple sneakers or boots. If you wanna become more attractive, you have to be more confident. This is so important that I actually dedicate an entire two-part video on this topic on my channel. So be sure to search uh, YouTube for how to be more confident Weston Boucher, it'll come right up. You have to learn to be more comfortable in your own skin and love yourself both as you are now as well as over the course of your entire journey of refinement over time. It's attractive to others when you have a sense of self, so invest time into cleaning out your closet of childhood garbage, past hurts, and whatever else you need to work through with a recommended therapist. I suggest searching Yelp for a therapist in your area with good reviews. It's not weird to seek therapy, it's wise. We've all got stuff to work through. Okay guys, that wraps up today's video. Hope you found it helpful and are more on your way to becoming the best version of yourself yet. Please subscribe, like, comment, share this video before you go. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.